What you guys got another video here for you on how to enable TPM and secure boot on a VMware uh, to install Windows 11. Now Windows 11 has been officially released. You can't really install Windows 11 the way you would install Windows 10 on VMware. So you can see here I've got Windows 11 selected here. When I press the uh, play button to install Windows 11 on this VMware workstation, I'll let it load up here. And you'll see you get the error code saying you can't install uh, Windows 11 on this thing. It's not supported or something along those lines. So let me just uh, load this up a bit so you can see. You'll get to this uh, location here and then go next, then install now. And then when it gets to this stage here, uh, it's, it's looking at what to do here. We need to go, I don't have a product key, and then click next. Choose our operating system here, click next. And we should get the error code popping up like this. This PC can't run Windows 11. So let me show you how to get around this and how to install Windows 11 on VMware or VMware Workstation. So let me close all of this off and we'll go back to where we can make some changes to get this installed on this VMware here. So here we have a list of operating systems down here. You would need to create one. I'll show you how to do that in the end. but just click on the operating system that you're trying to work with here, which is Windows 11. Mine's called Windows 11 in the list here. But go to select and then select VM. Then select the settings down the bottom here. Once you select that, this box will open up saying virtual machine settings. So inside here, I've got my settings already set, but go to options here. Once you're inside options, you need to look for access control and we need to come down a little bit in the list here click access control on the right hand side here you should see uh, encryption and encrypt click on this one here and this will open up the encrypt uh, pane here just put a password in here you can call yours whatever you like so i'm just going to put in a password which i will remember and this needs to be confirmed with another password at the bottom and then we can click on encrypt. That's now done, like so, and this will encrypt that. So once we've got that done, we can then move on to the next step, which is going down to advanced down the bottom here. So this down the bottom, select advanced. Once we've got advanced selected, we need to move over to where it says firmware type, and this needs to be in UEFI. So put the radio button in UEFI, and also put a check mark in enable secure boot. Once you've got that done, we can then move up to the top tab, which is says hardware next to options. So go back up to the top and click on hardware. Inside the hardware area, what we need to do is click on add at the bottom, and then we need to click on trusted platform module and click finish. Once we've done this, we can then Click OK. You can see a trusted platform module is now installed. Click OK here. Now I've already created a virtual machine here uh, ready for uh, Windows 11. So it's ready to install now. But I'll show you that bit at, at the end so you can see how to do that as well. So let it boot up and then click any key to uh, start the process. So Windows 11 is starting up again. And with those settings now in place, you should be able to bypass that this PC, uh, this PC can't run Windows 11. So we'll just go ahead and click next here and move on to the next step, install now. And once this is done, we should see a little box pop up here. I don't have a product key, click on there and select the version we want to install. And this should now move on to the next stage. There we go. So now we have the terms, conditions, click next, custom, and you can go ahead and start to install Windows 11 the way you would normally uh, on this system. So yeah, so that worked out pretty well. I will speed this process up to get to the end so you can see it's fully installed on this virtual machine. So let me just speed this process up here for you. And then you'll be able to see uh, the end result. Let me just skip through all of this. There we go. 
And there we have Windows 11 installed on VMware. Now, of course, when it was the insider preview, you didn't have to jump through hoops like that to get Windows 11 installed on a virtual machine. But now you do. So this is the new way of getting it installed on a VMware. So I'm just going to resize the resolution here to the monitor size. And then I'm going to install the tools for uh, Windows 11 here for this virtual machine. So once that's all installed, let me just go ahead and finish this off here. You should see the DVD pop up here. There we go. And I can now click on auto run or 64 bit version here. Click yes. This will go ahead and start to install this. Now, once we've got this done, we're ready to use our virtual machine. So I'll quickly finish this part off here and I'll quickly show you how to create a virtual machine quickly at the beginning here, which I skipped out. So I already had it created, but I just wanted to make sure that you've covered all the bases here. So just go through here, complete, next, install, and this will install everything you need here. And once this is all done, you'll basically be able to use your Windows 11 on a virtual machine, just as you would any sort of real PC. Um, so that's just finishing off the installation process here. And once that's done, we can click finish here. I'm going to shut this down now. So let me just quickly shut this down so I can show you the settings that I use for this virtual machine here. Should have probably done this at the beginning, but I missed that part out. So I'll show you quickly now, so it's no big deal. So click on uh, the Windows 11 that I was installing here, and I'll show you the edit virtual machine settings. So you can see I've just got 8 gigs of memory. Processes, I've got uh, 4, so I've got two of those on each and basically I've got my ISO here all the settings are the same apart from the added trusted platform and encryption that we had it here and again if you want to create a virtual machine you just go right click new virtual machine and basically go through here and this is where you would put your trusted platform and encryption on this particular one that you're creating here very simple and easy to do so that's the only bit that I missed out at the beginning. But really, you just choose your location where you want your virtual machine to be. And you should be up and running in no time. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this one. So that's how you can enable the TPM and Secure Boot on a VMware to install Windows 11. And once you've got this set up, you can use Windows 11 on a VMware just like you would on the desktop. Why would you want to do that? Well, there's plenty of reasons why you want to do that. Maybe you want to do some testing for malware, or maybe you'll just want to use it as a test machine to do all your testing or tutorials or whatever it is you want to set that up for. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Don't forget, you can always join our Discord server if you want to. The link is in the video description. Free to join. Anyone's welcome over there. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. I really do appreciate the support. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.